Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up for multiple outputs of a VST instrument, which particularly applies to drums. Now, you may have found already that by using Project Add Track Instrument that you're only getting stereo outputs. To get multiple outputs, you need to go to Devices, scroll down to VST Instruments, or press F11, and you'll get this. Now, when you add your drum machine or tool from this window, oops, in this case, let's go to Stylus. You can use anything. Say yes when it create a MIDI track. And you'll notice right here, left click, activate all outputs. In this case, we'll say yes. Generally, you want to activate as many as you're going to use. Now, once I do this, you'll see we have all those outputs. Now, they're not going to automatically go to separate outputs. That's something you have to configure in your drum software. Now, I'm going to do the same thing with Easy Drummer and show you how to do it that way. Let's take that out. Now, once again, here we go. Activate all output. Whoops. Up activate all outputs, and that gives us our multiple tracks. Now, once again, that always needs to be configured in your software as well. Very simple here in Easy Drummer. Simply just open your mixer, go to the first output, and click multi channel. Now we have everything configured, each drum to separate outputs. And let's take a look. Now you'll notice some multiple tracks being triggered. That's because we have overheads and room mics, which are already set up right here. Or effect returns, overhead and room mic. You can change any of those to the way you like. But this is how to get going with multiple outputs using any MIDI software in Cubase. Check out all our videos at Recording School Online.